Good morning, everyone. I am here again, and our topic for today is comparing and evaluation of alternatives. After that, we have learned the basic method of making economic decisions. Now, we will be learning what if there is a presence of two or more than alternatives. It is a good practice or a management strategy that when there are new projects, new investment for a company, it is best for them to formulate two or more alternatives. So how do we select the best alternative? So the best decision lies on number one, which one can provide the least possible cost or which one could provide the greater benefit. Let's continue. To arrive at the best economic decisions, every alternative should undergo a careful evaluation that establishes the benefit and cost analysis. So we have four methods that I'll be using in my illustrative example. So these are the rate of return on additional investment method, the annual cost method, the equivalent uniform annual cost method, or the EUAC, and the present word cost method. The illustrative problem, a company is considering two types of equipments for its manufacturing plant. Data are as follows. So you have machine A and machine B. The first cost, two million for machine A and three million for machine B. So there is a difference between the initial investment the annual operating cost, 325,000, 250,000 for B, 325,000 for A. Annual labor cost for A, 0.5 million, machine B, 320,000. Insurance and property taxes is 4% of the first cost. Payroll taxes is 10% of the labor cost. And estimated life is 12 years for both machine A and machine B. If the minimum rate of return is 15%, which equipment should be selected? Our solution. So the first method is the rate of return on additional investment. Take note that from the given, the first cost for machine A is 2 million and for machine B is 3 million. So there is an additional investment of 1 million if machine B will be chosen. So this method will determine, is it justified to choose machine B even if there is additional investment of 1 million?
So the details for machine A, annual cost. First is depreciation. I compute the depreciation using the sinking fund method. The money's worth is 15% and the life is 12 years. So we have this equation for depreciation 2 million all over the sinking fund factor 29.002 equals to 68,960.76. The operational cost is 225,000. The labor cost 500,000. Payroll taxes will be 10% of the labor so 50,000. Taxes and insurance, 4% of the first cost, 0 0.04 of 2 million, we have 80,000. Hence, the total annual cost is 1,023,960.76. For machine B, the annual cost are the following, the depreciation, employing the same method, sinking fund, we get 103,441.14 per year. Operation cost, 250,000, labor, 320,000, payroll taxes, 10% of labor cost, 32,000. Taxes and insurance, 4% of 3,120,000. The total annual cost, therefore, is 825,441.14 centavos. On our analysis, we will compare the annual cost of machine A versus machine B to get the difference or the annual savings. So when we choose machine A, it will have an annual cost of 1,023,960.76 versus the annual cost of B, 825,441 we get a difference of 198,519.62. So this is the annual savings on the additional investment for B. The annual cost for A is greater than the annual cost for B. So that difference favors machine B. To solve the rate of return on additional investment, we have the formula annual net savings all over the, that additional investment. So we get 198,519.62 over the additional investment of 1 million, we get 19.85%, which is greater than the present worth of money equivalent to 15%. By that result, it is justifiable to choose machine B over machine A, although machine B will require an additional investment of 1 million. The additional investment is acceptable based on the rate of return. Now, the second method, the annual cost method. So, I presented the computation in this table. The first column presents to you the different items 
considered in the computation of annual cost. Second column is for machine A. And third column is for machine B. So the details consider first the depreciation, the operational cost, labor cost, payroll taxes, taxes and insurance. This time, it considers interest on capital, where the present rate of money is 15% or it is the rate of interest. If you wish to recall on our first method, the rate of return on additional investment is 19.85%, which is greater than the interest rate of 15%. So meaning the additional investment will have an income of 4.85% greater than the interest rate of money. Okay, what are the details? So it is presented on the second and third column for A. So the same as in the rate of return computation. But let us check on the interest and capital. That is 15% of 2 million is 300,000. So the total annual cost for A is 1 million 323,960.76 for machine B the same consideration as in rate of return and the interest on capital is 450,000 that is 15% of 3 million so we get a total of 1.1 million 1 million 275,441.14 for machine B. So in this method, you have to choose which alternative provide the lesser annual cost. So in this result, we get that the annual cost of B is lesser than the annual cost of A. Therefore, we have to choose machine B. The third method, the present word cost method. So the same, we will compute for the annual cost, but this time, since we are on the present word, we will be excluding depreciation. So again, the items, operational costs, labor costs, payroll and taxes, interest on capital, taxes and insurance. So we get a total annual cost for machine A and machine B. For machine A, we have 1,255,000 annually. For machine B, 1,172,000 annually so now how do you compare the annual cost annual cost for a is greater than the annual cost of b let's continue we will show the cash flow analysis so there is an initial investment of two million for machine A and an annual cost of 1,255,000 annually. For machine B, the cash flow, cash outflow is 3 million 
plus an annual cost of 1,172,000 per year. We will now look how much is the present worth of this cash outflow. So the present worth of annual cost for A. So the first cost is 2 million plus the annual cost of 1,255,000. So we have to compute what is the present worth of this annual cost. So recalling the formula. Okay, again, for annuity. So we get that the present worth factor is 5.4206. Hence, we calculate, we get that the present worth cost of machine A is 8,802,876.84. Let's see what is the present worth cost for machine B. So the initial investment is 3 million plus the present worth of an annual cost of 1,172,000. So we get the present worth cost for B is 9,352,943.2. And then we compare. Since the present worth of the annual cost for B is greater than the present worth cost of machine A for the same period 12 years, machine A should be selected. This time you might be thinking why there is a shift in decision. That is actually based on the ability of any economic analyst which one should be chosen. Method number four, the equivalent uniform annual cost method. So let's see the cash outflow first. So for a uh, machine A, you have uh, the first cost is 2 million and the annual cost is 1,255,000. So to get the uniform annual cost, we will find what is the equivalent annual cost of this 2 million. Hence, by employing the concept again of annuity, we get that the equivalent annual cost of 2 million is 368,962.84. And we add it up to the annual cost of 1,255,000. We get a total of EUAC for A equal to one million six hundred twenty three thousand nine hundred sixty two point eighty four. Method number four, the equivalent for B. So the initial cost is 3 million. What is the equivalent annual cost of that first cost? Okay. So we get 553,444.27. Again, 
uh, employing the formula for annuity or applying the concept of annuity and then add up to the annual cost of 1,172,000 so we get that the uniform annual cost for B is 1,725,444.27 in that case we see that EUAC for A is less than EUAC for B. Therefore, machine A should be chosen. So this is the summary of our result employing the four method. So one and two favors B, three and four favors A. For me, as a mentor, it is really dependent upon the ability of an economic analyst, which should be chosen. But as for me, I would choose the results for 3 and 4. That actually give more emphasis on the time value of money. Thank you. So if you learn something from this topic, maybe you can like and post your comment. I would be very happy if you would post your thoughts, your comments, suggestions, questions regarding my discussion, even those that have been uh, discussed in my other video instructional material. Feel free to comment. I want to know your thoughts. Thank you. God bless.